another video review for you. This time we are taking a look at the next figure in the BotCon 2012 box set. Uh, this guy being Decepticon Treadshot, who I'm not sure who he is really. Uh, I'm not actually sure what continuity he's from. Uh, just don't know. Uh, and actually didn't look it up. I probably should have looked it up. But anyway, as you can tell, he is a repaint of uh, RTS Jazz, uh, who has been repainted a billion times. Uh, he is very cool though. He is very the paint line, the uh, painting, paint apps are very cool on this guy. He does have rear windows, rear tail lights, uh, this silver uh, racing stripe going down the length of it. Doesn't go to the trunk, but does go over the hood and up the roof, which is very very cool. Painted on window windshield wipers, headlights, yellow headlights, red fog lights, nice black grill, cool Decepticon logo. Very clean looking, very nice looking. Uh, the good people at Fun Pup though did neglect to give me the inside speakers. These are actually completely missing. And they, it took me like two weeks after I got my box and noticed it to actually get it resolved. Actually longer than that, like took almost a month. Um, they sent me the speakers and then they only sent me one of these. See there's a clip. This is actually two pieces. This this clip is on a ball. So this is all one unit, and then the clip and a ball are one unit. And they only sent me, see the clip and the ball in there? They only sent me one, uh, one set of clips and balls. So I can only attach one. So that was fun trying to explain to them what they screwed up and how I wanted them to fix it. Uh, it was just, overall it was a nightmare getting this guy uh, completed, but eventually I did get it, so I am happy about that. And I can never figure out how these stupid things go back on. Aha! Like that. Sweet! Got it on camera too. So yeah, like I said, he is a remold of Jazz. Oh, also, the um, the other version of this mold that was in the set isn't actually in the bag set. Is Kickoff, Kick Out, Kick Kickoff. Um, I was missing his gun, so yeah, I have bad luck with this mold apparently. Uh, does roll very nicely. Like I said, very cool. The very cool little details everywhere. This, I really dig the racing stripe. I really dig the yellow and the blue and the silver and the grays, gray rims. Very very cool looking. The only thing that would really set it off was like maybe colored tailpipes and maybe a license plate. But other than that, totally awesome. Very cool looking. So uh, let's just get this guy transformed real quick and we'll be right back. Alright, here we have uh, Treadshot all transformed up into robot mode. And as you can see, he does look like Jazz. Um, his face is very cool though. It's very not Jazz, which I totally dig. All painted. No light piping. A little bit of light piping. Actually, why the heck do they have light piping? There's nothing coming through there. That's really strange. Painted, but there's light piping. Go fig. Very cool looking though. Very, very cool. Totally dig him. Even though I don't know who he is. <laughs> I should probably find out who the hell he is. Probably from a series I didn't watch or a comic I didn't read yet. But yeah, he's very, very cool looking. Uh, I'm very obviously off the jazz mold. Same gun. Same with everything. Um, I don't usually deploy the speakers because that's really a jazz thing. But you know what? Just to show it up, because I don't know if I showed it with jazz. But I just popped that off again. There's the speakers. Um, one other thing I don't think I showed when I did jazz was you can actually detach these take the gun and there's two three millimeter clips on the sides of the gun now let's see if it I haven't actually done this so let's see if it actually I think it goes I think you're supposed to do it like that I suppose it doesn't really matter which way you do it but I think the official way is like that. Then you have a bigger blaster, and I guess you could also 
deploy the speakers, but you can just always, what's cool about it is at least they give you options on how to display him, and especially since they've reused this mold so many times, at least you can different, differentiate them <coughs> a little bit. So you guys, I have like four of these, you know, this mold at least, and now we don't want to stay. I have him leaning back too far. Ah, screw the speakers. I'll reattach them later. So yeah, I do think he's this guy is very cool. I really dig the colors. I really dig the way he looks. I really need to glue that down or something. But yeah, he is really, really cool looking. Um, it's hard to get some of the detail across because it's a lot of black and a lot of dark on dark colors, so it's kind of hard for the camera to pick everything up well. But... I do really dig him. I think he does look totally, totally awesome. I really do like this mold a lot. So yeah, like I said with everybody else, if you don't have him, you're probably not going to be able to really go out and get him too easily. But uh, this guy is actually one of my favorites, just mostly because of the mold, because I really love the mold. I love tracks too. Um, it's very cool. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention on tracks is he's, I think I forgot to mention him. Is that he was actually also a repaint of a Japanese figure and a Diaclone figure because before he was blue he was red in Diaclone and um, on the back of my G1 Ultra Magnus because I just bought one boxed to take the TFCon with me uh, this is actually a picture of him of Red Tracks and all the details is exactly the same as what we got in that figure so I thought that was very cool but yeah very cool if you can find this guy like I said with everybody else if you can find this guy cheap I would pick him up probably probably before like Ultra Magnus or Metal Metal Hawk just because I do think he looks awesome. So yeah, this has been the video review for BotCon 2012 box set Decepticon Treadshot.